Hello everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to make ties in Quo 3D. Um, I call them cheater ties because it's definitely a little bit of a quicker process than actually tying knots in Quo. That's a nightmare. Um, but this way that I developed is pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and I think delivers a pretty good result. So let's take a look. All right, first step is to create the pattern. Um, we're going to create half of a shape that looks like a tie. Again, it doesn't have to be super accurate. Uh, I focus more on the look of it rather than creating really true to life patterns. Then we're gonna right click on the edge that we wanna unfold, unfold with symmetric sewing. And now we have something that looks like this, a symmetric editable um, piece of the tie. So next step is create, let's create the collar next. So we're gonna grab the tool rectangle we are going to create a rectangle that's about this big in proportion. Um, again, don't stress too much over making it 100% true to life. It's more about the visuals than the accuracy, obviously. The next thing we're going to do is draw an internal line a little bit down from the top of this rectangle. This is gonna be the fold line. I have it right over here. And as you can see, the fold strength is up and the fold angle is down. So we'll get to that in a minute, but this is the neck piece. And then lastly, we are going to, well, almost lastly, we're going to make a, this kind of shape. It's almost like a hexagon. Um, and this is going to be this piece right here that we're going to wrap around the tie. So let's grab our polygon tool again, and let's just mimic something, again, draw only half of it, mimic something that looks like this. Sure, we can just do that. You can edit a little bit. Um, and if you wanna be really, you know, perfection with it, you can curve it out. I don't really care that much. I think it looks fine. But then we are going to unfold the side again. Um, again, unfold with symmetric editing. So that is our tie piece. And then lastly, we are just going to create a little rectangle right here. Just small. Um, little rectangle. So this is our pattern. Uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And um, we are now going to look at sewing it up and getting it on the mannequin. Now we're going to bring the pattern pieces on the avatar. Let's turn on our arrangement points. Let's get this rectangle piece around the neck, this main body piece on the chest, this on the upper neck, and this rectangle we can just kind of freeze over here. Um, why don't we also freeze these two pieces because we're going to start by working on the collar part of it. We are going to sew the top to the bottom. We're going to sew the left to the right. And we're also going to make sure that we have inserted um, a point. So add point here and here. So these are two separate segments. Um, we can strengthen it just so it simulates a little bit nicer and we can freeze it. Um, you might have to tweak a little bit, that's okay. And you wanna try to be sure that the top of the collar is the fold line, not the seam line. We can tell that because we click here on top and we get a little blue dot by the fold line. So this is correct. You can straighten it out a little bit. Um, you can unstrengthen it. So that's for the collar piece. So now let's focus on this body piece right here. Um, we're gonna drop the middle point about two clicks down. By clicks, I just mean using the arrow keys to create small incremental changes. So we're gonna drop this piece two inches down. We're gonna do the same thing over here, create a small V little cutout, which is gonna help the whole garment lay a little bit nicer. Um, as you can see, that helped. And then this is gonna fit right here. So next we're gonna sew. We're gonna stitch that line and we're gonna make sure we're looking in the 3D window to see what's happening so we know we're stitching in the right direction and in the right area. Um, so there we can see that nothing is crossed. It's a good seam line. You can make it um, match exactly. Uh, same thing over here, in, out, in, out, same thing. Um, and we can unfreeze this piece and simulate. So that lays pretty nice. This next step is probably one of the hardest in the tutorials because it just takes a little bit of finessing, um, but it's not too bad and it ends up being a lot simpler than actually tying a tie. So let's focus on this piece right here. We are going to place it right here. We're going to strengthen it. 
We're also going to sew the sides. And then we are going to, I, I like to do this thing where I simulate for about half a second, barely just like one click. Um, and then you kind of have something together like this. Um, that works, but first, before we do that, I want to drop the particle distance from 20 to 5, just so this piece lays a little bit nicer around. So there I just clicked simulate for about half a second, basically just double clicked on my spacebar, and now it's just a little bit um, wrapped around. So I think that this will help us place this um, piece a little bit better. We're essentially wrapping this around the base of the tie, so we're just going to take a little bit and um, try to get the positioning right. You don't want it to intersect too much. A little bit is okay, but you know, in a perfect world, you're you're being able to um, have the piece wrap around the other piece. So we're going to bring this out a little bit. We can even freeze this away from the body, so there's some room for this piece to go, and then we're going to simulate. Okay, so it didn't go exactly on, around the tie. You can see it's a little bit over. Again, this is why it's a little bit tricky sometimes is because you just kind of have to, you know, trial and error. So let's try again. We're gonna position it right here. There we go. So that worked. So it, it grabbed right around the tie, which is great. We can go ahead and unfreeze this. And now we have something that looks like this. Um, and why don't we actually just make the entire tie at five because I think it will help us when we're starting to tweak and adjust the drape. So now you have something that looks like this, which is great. Um, so you can see it's starting to look more like a tie. Um, we're going to try to sew up this back seam up here so it can stay a little bit nicer. Um, because ultimately you can see what we're trying to do, which is pull this down and have it look like it's tied, have this piece cover um, the whole thing as it's tied. So for, freeze this piece, pull the main base of the tie down a little bit, and then we are going to stitch this line here to this line here. So it doesn't matter which, which side of this piece, um, but you do want to make sure you're going in the same direction. So this line is, this seam line simulates nice. So it's going to look something like that. Um, and as you can see, when I was doing this version of the tie, these pieces kind of cupped around this way versus in this version of the tie, they cupped around a little bit less. Um, they kind of were pointing out a little bit more, so we're going to try to correct that. Um, we're going to start by bringing it in a little bit, see if that works. Um, maybe we can kind of just manually tweak it. There we go. So we have the little bit of a lip on the side. That's, that's important, so it looks like a realistic tie. Awesome. So now we have that little bit of a dip in here, which is great. And as you can see, we're not that, we're not that um, far from being done. So... I actually made a last minute decision in this tutorial and we're gonna delete this little rectangle. Ignore that, it was just gonna help us connect these two pieces, but I don't think it's really necessary. So now what we're gonna do is um, duplicate this top piece. So right click, layer clone over, and it's gonna give us um, a little bit of depth to this. We're gonna do the same thing here, but actually why don't we make it a little bit wider again now that we can. I feel like this needs to be out. So there's just a little bit of tweaking that's it's going to be different for everyone. So when you watch this, make sure to apply your own logic, your own common sense to this. Um, but in general, this is this is kind of giving you the foundation to do so. So um, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to go back to having it be a little bit skinny here. But just know that you will probably want to take a little bit of time and make it um, exactly how you want it. So then we're going to layer clone over this piece. I find that this just helps us get that nice multi-layer dimension look. It just looks more realistic to me. Um, and then we're pretty much done. As you can see, it's, it's definitely looking more like a tie. 
you can make little tweaks at this point. Um, say you want to make these a little bit longer, you can do that. Um, you can pull this down, whatever you want to do to make this look more realistic in your opinion. You can also turn the skin offset down to zero or one just so it lays right on the skin. Um, and another thing I do like to do is go into the material and turn the density all the way up. It just, in my opinion, falls a little bit more realistic because density is heaviness and tie material is pretty heavy. So here we have our tie. Finalize it by checking that the particle distance is five or eight or whatever low poly count you want. And then that is our tie. So feel free to go in and make a few more tweaks, you know, kind of pinch things, sew things. But I hope this gave you a pretty good idea of the base of a necktie and clo. And I hope you guys were able to follow it without a problem. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you were able to follow this tutorial well and your ties are looking great. Um, feel free to post any comments or questions in the comment section. I look forward to reading your questions and feedback and um, looking forward to having you guys for the next video. So thanks for watching.